This museum was organized in 1976, which was the year of the United States Bicentennial. And uh, people who were working here thought, hey, you know, the New York City subway is one of uh, our country's great engineering achievements. So let's put it into some sort of an exhibit that people can enjoy in the year of the Bicentennial. So this station that we're standing in had been mothballed, wasn't being used. Cars had been squirreled away in a few yards. Turnstiles had been squirreled away in a few places. So the people that worked here were able to organize bringing all of these cars into this station and opened the facility as an exhibit in, called the New York City Transit Exhibit. It was only supposed to stay open from 4th of July until Labor Day of that year, 1976, but we've never closed. So it was obviously very popular and um, we've, we've grown it from then until now into really a world-class museum that is very much about New York City's infrastructure and its, uh, the, the history of its development as a world-class city. We've got cars here from many different eras. I'm going to show you the oldest one. Um, they range from about 1900 up until the 1960s. So here we are with um, uh, one of the jewels of our collection. This is an elevated car that was uh, running in 1900 before the subway system was even built. This was an elevated car. It's made of wood. The configuration of the seats is interesting. People actually faced each other and didn't seem to mind that so much, whereas today we're all completely absorbed in our electronic devices and our books and our newspapers and we're not looking at anybody. But um, in the 1900s that seemed to not be as much of an issue and people um, gladly faced one another and maybe even talked to each other. Who knows? <clears throat>